welcome back friends again this is ram here and it's second tutorial on java fx8 in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to draw a line and quad curve using java fx in netbin so this is the interesting example i'm talking about using this we will learn how to draw a horizontal line vertical line inclined lines then quad curve then ellipse then rounded rectangles and effects so let's start with this open your netbin id go to the file new project java fx application next give your project name i will give a java fx application to create application class and finish so by default it will generate some program so i will make some changes i will delete this so set the title to your application i will give java effects it tutorial drawing then next is layout group group was to new group this will generate a layout for for you to to overcome this error right click and fix imports or you can control shift plus i so it will add a import java fx scene group and remove unused imports okay then next add a scene so that you can display your layout scene equals to new scene of scene for the root of dimension 600 by 600 and semicolon so once again fix this imports control shift i then start with our first line to comment q2 back place then line give a line name line 1 equals to new line now then again fix the imports that will add a line import for you that has seen shape or line okay then you the starting points to your line that is start from x that is start from x and start from y and again start in to x sorry in to x and in to y 
सो लाइन वन डॉट सेट स्टार्ट एक्स वी टू हंड्रेड इन लाइन वन डॉट सेट start y it will be 220 then line again one dot set end set end x it is be 300 then again line one dot set and y again at 20 now to give a color to your line so line one dot set stroke It, this will give you color so color dot black color the line then add your line to your root or your player layout so root dot get a line is a children element so get children dot add line one and semicolon so it will add the line in your layout save this and run so here is our line printed on the frame so to change the background of our frame we can change it in a scene comma color dot i will give a floral white and to less so run again so here here my color changes you can observe this So again, go back to our program. We can write this line in other method also, like like set start x two hundred, comma set start y twenty, comma set end x three hundred, comma set end y twenty. These all features are included in. one line so your code will not be lengthy so this will be comment by forward slash star and start again a forward slash so save this and try this again here here again Our line will this line is displayed. So go back. This is the first line. So now how to draw inclined line? So sec second line 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 two equals to new line. Start with the inclined line. So we are going to try to draw an inclined like this. So it is a here. This is the start point and this is the end point. So start with two hundred. 
start x will be 200 start y will be 20 end x 180 and end y 100 I have tried this example already so I know the coordinates you can try with your own coordinates also so next line line 2 dot set the color of your line set stroke so color dot again I will go for blank so this will be set color of your line again and root add your second line to layout root dot get children dot add line 2 simple this will add the second line your layout save this and run here is the second line start point and end point now the third line to draw third line again line line 3 equals to new line set the coordinates 300 comma 20 comma 320 comma 100 semicolon set the line color dot set stroke color dot black again add line 3 to to your layout root dot get children dot add line 3 semicolon and close so this is your third line here yeah upper portion of our design is completed so now we are done with the line now go for a quad curve now we are designing a quad curve so let's start with the quad curve So to draw a quad curve, add quad curve equals to curve equals to new new quad curve. Semicolon again fix the import so set the color of your curve so curve dot set stroke color dot again I will go for black then curve dot set feel of a curve 
so color dot floral white so the color inside the curve will be the floral white as like our background then set the start x dot set start x let it be 180 then set start y set start y with 100 then curve dot set control control x to control the angle of curve with respect to x that it is 245 then curve dot set dot set control y 50 then curve dot set end x so set end x value 320 then curve set and y it is 100 Semicolon. again and add this quad curve to your layout so root dot get children dot add add this node that is curve into your layout so we are done with the quad curve so run this application so here we can see this quad curve in our design so go back to your application so again we can write this six line in a one line so you have to write like start x then start y then control x then control y then end x and end y so comment these lines Save again and run. So here we can see a quad curve. So this is the tutorial tutorial on line and quad curve. So in the next tutorial we will continue with the ellipse and rectangle using same example and if you have any query ask me in a comment section thank you